Hello, this is Victor, and in the next video I'm going to review the Witchfire powers from the Orcs Codex. These are the different powers that are under review in this analysis, but I will compare them to the previous analysis I did on the different powers. So if you are interested in know how I calculate and, and what are the best powers before the Orcs Codex was released, please check the link below and you will see uh, what is the best powers from the previous, uh, what is the best which po um, powers before Codex of Orcs was released. And these are the assumptions I'm going to take into account, are the same assumptions that I use in my previous analysis of the powers. So this I don't want to change because then it will make it easier to compare. Here you can see that uh, I will take into account Ballistic Skill 4 and Leadership 10 for the Psyker. I will consider that all the powers, uh, all, all the powers are uh, released um, and I don't take into account, so I take from the moment that the power is released. I will consider that the beam is hitting two miniatures. The small blast will follow the next table and the large blast will follow the table below. And that's all the, the assumptions I will use. And then I got I need a target of where to shoot this witch power. Uh, and then I use I choose these ta different targets. So toughness four and save three plus, toughness four and save three plus in a cover of five plus, and then the equivalent imperial guard, and then the a monstrous creature that is toughness six and save three plus. So here what we can see is how the all powers are doing compared to the powers in the rulebook and powers from the other codexes. So we can see that the best power from orcs is the, the beam, that is the, the kill bolt, and also against um, Imperial Guard, Duck Ranch and Fuzzle are not that bad. A power that is very bad is Headbugger. Because it's it's mm, yeah the toughness and check is not that good. So here what we have taken to account green the greenest or the dark green is the best and the dark red is the worst and then yellow is on the average. So we can see that against Imperial Guard orcs are uh, on better than average against um, Space Marines orcs are below average. And again, in Monstrous Creature, only um, the Kill Vault is um, better than Average. The last column is the average of the previous ones. So as average, the powers of Orc are not the most powerful and will be not on the top 3 or 4 powers. And here we have the comparison in more detail. I'm comparing the powers to uh, the all powers to the best powers on each field. So the best powers against Space Marines, against Imperial Guard, and against most Creature. The number that you can see here is the number of wounds that this power will cause if you release this power 10 times. And it's just a number to for me to have an idea who good or bad and, and to be able to classify the powers. So and here you can see that the kill vault is, is, is one of the best and against Imperial Guard is quite close and especially against Marines is quite close to the, to, to the top 3 or 4 powers. Against Monstrous Creatures the kill vault will do the same effect as the Melta Beam, the Doom Bolt or the Executioner. So. And now I'm going to compare the powers by type of powers and I will start with the beams. And it will see the kill vault is almost the same as the doom bolt, but the best beam is still the bolt of change. And here we have to take into account that the assumptions are the same for all the different beams. So this means that in the kill vault is good, is, um, is one of the good beams, but is not the best. 
if we look now at the focus set powers we'll see that the one from the codex of orcs is very bad compared to our other powers so if you see here the um the numbers i think are the worst are the worst com and it's only comparable to crash so most they are focus set powers that are much better than the headbanger so i think if you yeah if you take this one is not one of the best and if you can change it change it if not because you you are specialized and you have the primary by default i don't think you will use this power a lot on the battle unless there is a target like a heavy weapon that you want to kill and finally if we look the powers with blast we will see that the powers from the orcs are not the best but are not even the worst what is not very good is the power that is the 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 that crunch power because due to the ap4 is not working well against um infantry with armor three or two this is why this power is very good against imperial guard it's, it's not bad it's not the best but it's not bad but it's very bad against space marines because the damage is mitigated by the armor on top of that um yeah you you can repeat multiple times if you keep throwing 11 or 12 when you throw for damage but this is not going to be a big difference i i when i did the calculation after three iterations is not doing anything and and the percent and the probability to repeat is below 10 percent so this as you can see the primary power is quite good for one charge is doing quite damage especially to imperial guard but it's not bad neither against the space marines so summarizing the powers of the orcs are not bad but are not are not the best neither are in the average the focus of power is one of the worst which powers on, on on all the books the and they are better against imperial guard as average than against space marines against heavy infantry or against monstrous creatures and that's all what i want to share in that video I just want to do a fast comparison where the orc powers are compared to previous codecs and the basic rulebook powers. As you can see, powers of orcs are not um, bad, but are not good neither. So please comment below and share with me what is your opinion and if you have any question. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!